In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage credit cards and envelopes. The training objectives for this video are as follows. We're going to learn how the Money4 system generated envelopes work. Comprehending this unique feature is absolutely vital in understanding how to handle credit card transactions in our system. We're going to learn the two different ways to manage your credit card and envelopes depending on whether or not you're carrying a rollover balance. We'll also learn how envelopes will prevent you from accumulating additional consumer debt as long as you spend from within your envelope balances. So let's get started today by introducing the Money4 concept. The Money4 envelope is essentially a credit card repayment envelope. The system generated Money4 envelope group is automatically created for you when you add a credit card or line of credit account to the system. The Money4 envelope for each account is where we fund or set aside money to make our next credit card payment. This unique feature also prevents you from accumulating additional credit card debt as long as you spend from within your envelope balances. Here's how it works. First, I'll assign a credit card purchase to my clothing envelope. However, because I haven't spent my own income, the system will reallocate the value of the credit card purchase from my clothing budget envelope into my credit card repayment or money for credit card envelope. The balance of my clothing envelope has now decreased from $100 to $55 and the balance of my credit card repayment envelope has increased to $45. Once I make the payment to the credit card company, the new balance of the card is now at zero. It's been paid off and the balance of my money for envelope would also be at zero. Envelopes mirrors this functionality. Before I dive into a live envelopes account and show you how this works, let's understand how we manage a credit card that we are carrying a balance on, which I'll refer to as credit card A. If you're carrying a balance on your card, there are up to three elements of the total payment you make back to your credit card company. Principal, or the rollover debt that you're carrying on your account from one month to the next. Interest, this is just the finance charge that you're hit with each month. And current spending. That's anything you've charged on the card since your last statement. Our objective is to not incur additional debt. So all three elements of the payment need to be paid back to the credit card company in full. The amount that we intend to pay to the principal balance of the credit card plus the amount of the finance charge requires a funding goal in the spending plan. This funding goal is associated with the Money4 Credit Card A envelope. Finance charge transactions as they post in your new transactions folder need to be assigned to the finance charges system envelope. Current spending is handled automatically by the functionality of the Money4 system envelope. All purchases we make from the credit card will transfer money from the spending envelope and into Money4 credit card A automatically. Just assign the transaction and envelopes does the rest. Now that we've talked about how a credit card with the rollover balance is managed, let's switch over to a live envelopes application. Let's take a look at the spending plan. Remember the spending plan is where we set our monthly envelope funding goals. If I look at Money4 credit card A, you can see that I have a value in here of $110. $100 of that is what I intend to pay towards the principal balance of the card and the other 10 is for the finance charge or interest. Now if I look at the actual balance at Money4 Credit Card A, I don't have any cash in here yet. Now before I start assigning transactions, I need to fund Money4 Credit Card A. So I'll click on the Fund button. I happen to have $110 of an allocated income in my income cash pool which is reflected here in the available field. Now we'll scroll to Money4 Credit Card A. Again, it's $110. So now I've hit my funding goal for the month. And I'll click Fund to actually move that cash out of the income cash pool and into the envelope. Now we'll move on to new transactions. I have uh, an example of each of the transactions we talked about earlier. First, here is a credit card purchase. The description reads video rental store. So we'll assume that was entertainment. So I'll just assign this transaction. It has a value of $12.93 into entertainment. And as I assign the transaction, notice the value of that purchase was removed from entertainment 
and into money for credit card A. So now I have $122.93 set aside to make my next credit card payment. The next transaction is a finance charge. I had planned for about $10 worth of interest. My finance charge ended up being $9.57. For this type of transaction, remember we assign it to the finance charges system envelope. And as I assign the transaction, the only balance that changes is the balance of the credit card in the register. So finance charges will remain at zero, then you'll see the value of the credit card account decrease, or in this case get further away from zero. Next we have an example of a credit card payment. As I said before, anytime you make a payment to a credit card, you'll receive two transactions. You'll receive the payment or debit from the checking account and the deposit or credit to the credit card. To assign these transactions, you just want to put both of them into the credit card payments system envelope here. You can assign them one at a time. So first I'll just assign the payment. Now the next transaction is the deposit to the credit card for the same amount, $122.93. I'll assign that to credit card payments. And as you can see, the envelope will now be at a zero balance. Money for credit card A is now at zero because finally that cash has uh, been removed from my checking account. And now the balance of the credit card is $100 less than it was before. So I've actually paid towards the principal by $100 uh, and some change just because I had funded my finance charge a bit more than it really came out to be. Now that we've talked about managing a credit card with a rollover balance, let's discuss managing a credit card that is paid off each and every month. We'll refer to this account as credit card B. This is much simpler than our last example. Money for credit card B will not require a funding goal in the spending plan because there's no principal and we're not being charged interest. We will only need to fund money for credit card B one time on the first day that we've added the credit card account to the system. Going forward, the only element of the credit card payment is current spending. Now let's dive into a Live Envelopes account and I'll show you how to manage a credit card that's being paid off each month. For this credit card, since we're not carrying balance, there's no need for us to go in the spending plan and set a funding goal. However, let's pretend like today is the first day I added my credit card account. Notice that money for credit card B doesn't have any cash in it, yet I have a balance of $200. So the first thing I want to do is fund my starting balance. So I'm just going back to fund. So you don't see a funding goal because there's no need for one. I'm going to fund this $200. So now at this moment in time, the balance of the credit card is $200. And we have $200 of our own cash set aside to make the next payment. Now remember I said earlier the only component of spending on this type of account is current spending. So here's two examples of that. The first transaction reads fill station one gasoline. So we'll assign this to auto fuel. And as I assign the transaction, the system is moving 4857 out of auto fuel and into money for credit card B. We haven't spent a dime of our own income yet, so, so the system is just reallocating those dollars to make that payment. Here is a grocery expense. So I'll assign this to groceries. Notice I have $400 set aside, and the current balance of money for credit card B is 24857. So as I assign this purchase, 118.47 is taken away from groceries and moved into money for credit card B. So now, when it comes time for the credit card payment, it's 367.04, and that is what I have set aside money for already. So you can see that as long as you spend from within your envelope balances, you won't accumulate additional debt because you're not really spending money you don't have. Now to show you the quicker way of processing a credit card payment, you can actually hold down your control key, you can highlight both transactions, then assign them over to account transfers. So now, the credit card down in the spending account to register is paid off, the balance of my checking account is decreased by the value of the payment, and money for credit card B is at a zero balance, which is fine because currently I don't owe anything on the account. So this is how managing a credit card that you're paying off in full each month, you can see it's much simpler than our previous example.